Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. This tutorial is part three of the Image Gallery tutorial series using the Recycle Views. In part one, we learned how to pull down the environment by using Git to our Android Studio. In part two, we learned how to create a folder to house all our images for the Image Gallery. Part three, we're going to make a start on the look and feel. Right, I'm now in my layout file, but there's something I need to do before that. Currently with this version of Android Studio, 1.2.2 I believe, we don't yet have support for the recycle view. So we need to add that as a dependency to our project. So I'm just going to skip across to my browser and inside the Android developer website under list cards they provide us the dependency line to add to our grade or build file so just copy that go back into Android Studio and go into our Gradle files and it's down here we've got build.gradle it's a module app so select that and go down to dependencies, we're adding a dependency here and paste it in here and save that. Okay, once you've done that, any changes you make to a, a Gradle build file will need to be resynced with the Gradle servers. So we'll sync that now. Select this button here, sync project with Gradle files. So we need to wait for that to complete before we move on. That's completed. Now let's go back into our layout file and click the design tab. Okay, we, we're not going to have a single image on our application anymore. We want to replace the single image view with a scrollable image gallery so we can delete our image view. And now we want to replace that with the recycle view. Can I find it here? I can't see it here. You might, I can't. So let's go into text and let's add it manually. Naming convention is slightly a bit different. It's Android support V7 widget recycle view so you just can't need to recycle view by itself you have to enter this full name here and again with all views we need the layout width and I'm just going to wrap the content you'll see while I'm doing that uh, at the later stage and we'll do the same for height and because this is a relative layout I want the actual recycle view container to be on top of the camera capture button Put it above the photo button. Save that. Now let's go back into our design tab. Okay, it seems to be quite happy with, um, it's calling us a custom view, it's actually the recycle view. Select that, that's in the right position. Right, so the recycle view by itself doesn't do anything. It's a container for other types of views. Um, a recycle view is a it's used there to for convenience and efficiently efficiency. So it's used for large data sets. Think of it as a large list of images, providing large data sets and a limited number of views. So our gallery might just show two or three images, but inside our folder we could have a thousand images. So recycle view is a good way of handling a large data set 
into just a small number of views. But by itself it's nothing. We actually have to configure the views themselves, which are going to be image views. So we need to create another layout for that. So we'll do that now. So I'm just going to go into my layout folder and basically right click and I'm going to create a new layout resource file. Again, I'm going to use relative layout here. And the file name, I'm going to say the um, gallery images. And I like to put relative layout on the end just out for my identification. And it doesn't like uppercase, so that's let's use underscores in the file naming convention. Android Studio happy with our naming convention. So we're going to call it Gallery Images Relative Layout. OK. So here, now we'll select our relative layout here. So we've got our relative layouts. So inside here, what am I displaying? What am I making here? I'm just making a scrollable image gallery. So all I need to add here is an image view, which will be then, it'll be communicating, it'll fit into the recycle view framework. So, hey, why don't we go to the design tab? They will have image views here, which I should be able to find. Drag that here. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to specify the size, my thumbnail size of my width and the height for my image views in here. And I'll just rename this to give it a bit more um, contents. I'll just put image gallery view. View. And I've got it centered here. I'll keep the centering. And go back into the design tab. So that that's it. I now have my two relative layouts. Um, you can't actually visualize um, using Android Studio what the actual gallery is going to look like at the moment. The, the, the tool won't support that, but we've now got that set up. So at this stage, we're going to conclude the tutorial. Our look and feel basically completed. The follow on part four is we're going to dive into our adapter, a, a recycler view adapter which is where we're going to be sort of implementing the loading of our views and uh, loading of our image views, images, and assigning them to an image view. So watch out for that. So if you enjoy these tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. And that's all for this one. Bye for now. The adapter is actually based on the Recycler View adapter. And then here we pass in our view holder. And that's it. Now we need to implement the methods provided to us from the uh, Recycler View Adapter. Implement methods, those are the three methods we need to implement. 
um, we'll start from the top down going heading in the downwards direction. So first thing is on create view holder. 